and welcome to muazo.co.uk. My name is Nitin. Today's Friday. That can mean only one thing. It's Fragrance Friday. Yes, I'm back with Fragrance Fridays. Apologies, I've not posted for about the last two Fridays. I've had a cold. The, the, the nose hasn't been functioning. But hey, I'm back to 100% now and the nose is ready to sample new scents and hopefully describe them to you uh, in a manner which you will find interesting and uh, slightly entertaining, but hopefully bring you some value and insight into the scent itself. Now, as the title suggests, today we're taking a look at three scents from the Library of Fragrance. Now, this is a bundle that I've put together on Moazo, so if you want to skip this whole thing, click the link below, head over to Moazo and purchase the bundle of these three 30ml scents by the Library of Fragrance, you're free to do so. But if you want to hang around and get my opinion on these scents, you'll discover the bundle is ideally suited for this time of the year. It is the Halloween trio or the Halloween bundle as we've called it at Moazo. Now, these are three scents from the Library of Fragrance. I've gone through the collection. There are a lot of scents that we could have picked out and chosen as a representation of Halloween. Uh, there are other scents and other Library of Fragrance scents that we will be bringing to you that kind of like bring or depict autumn and winter, that's fine, that's gonna happen. But for right now, for the month of October, we've chosen three scents that will hopefully set the mood for your Halloween parties or uh, activities uh, and uh, provide some inspiration for uh, Elo anything Halloween-esque, if that makes sense. So, without further ado, we're gonna kick off with one of the three scents which is, I'm just randomly selected out of three by the way, holy water. Now isn't that just ideal? Holy water, Halloween. Now, I was gonna say well you know give you a little bit of a description of what to expect but let's just skip straight through or straight to the scent. Let's just get on with it. This is going to be fun. We've got three scents to get through, so this video will be a little bit longer than usual. Fragrance Fridays. So, Ooh, there we go. Three good pumps. As usual, the Fragrance Friday, or the Fragrance Friday, the Library of Fragrance has a pretty good pump, actually. So, we like that. Mmm, <laughs> this smells actually quite nice. It's looking at holy water. To one side. So I don't really know what holy water is meant to smell like. Uh, if you have an idea, maybe you write down in the comments below. But I'm assuming it it's it's meant to give you the idea of cleanliness and freshness and mixed with incense. So kind of like flowers and herbs and spices uh, all brought together to kind of bring a, bring a freshness, a clean feeling to the atmosphere. I'm assuming that's what holy water would be if it was a scent. And in this case, I would definitely say that this is on the floral side. It's floral. It's a little bit oily actually. It's sweet. It's almost... It's like it's got a jasmine in it. Like a jasmine. Yes, it's definitely jasmine-y. jasmine -y? It's definitely there. The, 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 the jasmine side of things is what comes out the most. It was quite fresh at first. So it's fresh, it was almost like uh, if you've come across the Libia Fragrance salt air scent before, it was very fresh, very clean. 
very kind of like bracing, uh, like, ooh, it's like a cold burst. But thereafter, it's settled. And it's, it's gone more, it's gone more subtle. And it's definitely gone down the floral, oily, jasmine side of things. But I tell you what, it's really nice. And all these scents are going to be really nice or very nice. It's just that when reality meets expectations, like it was clean, it was fresh, but this is the kind of scent Like if I was to relate to it, I would definitely say it, it, it is holy in respect to when I was growing up and going to temples, Indian temples and whatnot. And even some churches when I was a Cub Scout, I did do that. Uh, it was, yeah, it would smell of like incense, frankincense, jasmine, flowers, musk, all those kind of scents that you would have when you would enter a holy environment. So this is probably very aptly named. Holy water, maybe, maybe not. But if you have got a few vampires to vanquish, this is probably gonna do the job. Really nice, I like that, holy water. Let's put it to one side, we've got quite a few to get through. So let's take another one. What I'm going to do as well, I'm just gonna reset my senses ever so slightly. This is coffee, coffee beans, and this, my friend, is green tea. So, next, what have we got here? <laughs> Actually, I'll save that for last. Now we're going to take a look at part of the Halloween trio bundle. We're going to take a look at, focus. Just like Lux focusing on my face, that's what it is. Funeral home. Funeral home. Now, okay, that's very morbid, right? Why would you want to smell like a funeral home? Uh, I can't remember what funeral homes smell like, but again, I would imagine this is probably going to be very close to the scent of holy water. It's, but I have no idea, because this is one of the scents that, ha it, this scent is popular. Don't get me wrong, this scent sells. That is true. I think once you've smelt this, you really want to come back to it. So we do actually sell a lot of these scents uh, at Funeral Home. Maybe it's because of the name, because it's got this kind of like morbid edge to it, uh, or it just smells really nice. And I'm assuming this is going to smell like flowers and flowers that are popular in funeral homes or at funerals, uh, I imagine are things like lilies and coronations i think i don't know uh it all depends on cultural preferences but i think it's going to be floral very floral in that respect so let's give that a go one for good luck <laughs> every time i always kind of like find myself giggling ever so slightly because it's again it's the expectation meets reality scenario Oh wow, I don't know if I like that immediately, but it's very recognizable, gosh. I think it is lilies. This is in a very immediate scent. It cuts through everything. This smells like Highly concentrated lily oil mixed with, it's probably a really bad description, but mixed with vapor rub. So it's like very intense, very, it goes right up the nose. It kind of like wakes you up, uh, which is strange for a funeral home. <laughs> but it's there, it's very kind of, it smells of wood like damp wood, mahogany, flowers, 
oak, autumn leaves, damp autumn leaves. Wow, this has got a really interesting reaction for me. I, I, this is growing on me already. Although at first, very, a very abrupt kind of storm of the senses. This is actually really nice. Mm. It's, it really gets up, up the nose and down the back. It, it, it's a fresh, super fresh, highly, in, almost very intoxicating scent. I guess the power of this will wake the dead uh, if you were in a funeral home, my goodness. But there is a um, underlying tone of uh, bleach or like a sterile clean sort of environment. It almost, when it's fading ever, it's almost turning into a, kind of like a dentist. Like it's become very clean, very sterile, very like a, a, a disinfectant. Not that it is a disinfectant, not that it's not nice. It's got an appeal to it because it's mixed with something quite floral, appealing, delicious, with almost something very, very clean, astringent, uh, disinfectant, bleach style, which, which I think in theory makes a lot of sense if it's a funeral home, right? But I tell you what, in some really strange way, that might hit my, my top 10 list, you know? I can see why we sell a lot of these. That is a really nice scent. I'm just looking at my mic, seeing if it's in the right place. Uh, that's a really nice scent. I like that. Oh, that's lovely. I'm gonna move on. And last but not least, the third in the Halloween trio that we've currently got on Moazo as a special is Zombie for him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, zombie for him. Now, I'm not expecting this to smell like rotting flesh, uh, but I am expecting that if you are a zombie and you're, and you're watching this, so for all the zombies and the walking dead out there, if you are on date night, that this might come in handy. I have no idea how this is going to smell. I have no idea what to expect. It is a new edition. We've only had this scent a couple of months. It does sell, um, but not as popular as Funeral Home, but it does move. I think it's just how it intrigues people. Uh, and once you've smelt this, you're probably gonna want a little bit more. It's a great thing for a party. Have it on the side. I mean, have the whole trio on the side at your Halloween event or just generally. And it really has a particular theme. And I, I love this idea, zombie for him. So I ramble ever so slightly. But here we go, let's try this again. It's got a really good vapor. Can you see it? Like, bam! Really fills the space. Oh man. Wow, okay. That's instant. <clears throat> That's really gone up there. Okay, so it's not rotting flesh. I can definitely tell you that. But straight up, this is earth. This is soil and earth. There is nothing more to be said. This is like when it rains and you go to the garden and you've got to like, was it unpot or repot flowers and plants and stuff. And then when they come out, they're a bit damp and you can feel the soil between your fingers and it's getting on your hands and you can smell it. It's that scent and it makes total sense. It's like, it's like if a zombie was to come out off the ground in a field of basil. <laughs> so uh, it's soil mixed with the delicious scent of basil and herbs. 
Oh, this is nice. I don't know if I would wear it a lot, but I do know that I would spray this in the room. This is a great scent for setting, not, not for set, setting the scene or a specific scene, but it's a great way of bringing atmosphere to an environment, for sure. This is autumn in a bottle. This smells like dirt, leaves, rain, mixed with, with herbs, mixed with a little bit of rosemary and basil. Some sort of earthy pizza. Fades quickly though, and turns into something a bit more subtle. that. I'm not sure what more to say. This, this really has one particular character. It is highly, highly earthy with a sprinkling of herbs and with a slight edge of freshness to it. So all you zombies out there, if you've got a hot date planned October 31st you may want to grab one of these and we'll hook you up so there you have it let's not I'm getting high off this stuff but let's not uh, dilly dally let's take a look at these these are the three we have Ooh, I'm gonna drop them we have holy water funeral home and zombie for him now have you tried any of these? If you have, leave a comment below. What, do you, what were your expectations with the names? What were you thinking? Uh, have you got a Halloween party planned? What are you going as at your Halloween party? Uh, I like to dress up as pirates and various Johnny Depp characters. That's more my style and or a little bit of John Wick. Uh, Keanu Reeves, I think they might have that this year. Simple, but effective. Uh, that's going to be me this year, but um, what, are you, what are you going as? Who are you going as? Will you be hosting? Will you be uh, using one of our scents? Maybe these to bring some sort of uh, atmosphere to your environment. If you haven't tried these, I really do encourage you to give them a go. Be ambitious. That's the whole idea of Fragrance Friday. Try something new. You can hit the link below. It will take you to Moazo. We put together a specific bundle of these three at a discounted rate. Uh, so you can access them, free delivery to the UK. If you're not in the UK, we can also ship internationally. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween edition of Fragrance Friday. A lot more videos to come throughout the week next week. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We're aiming for a thousand subscribers this year. Come on, before the year ends. Hit that subscribe button. The more you subscribe, the more you comment, the more it fills me with joy and happiness and the more I am encouraged to produce more content for you and the more I know that you're receiving some value from all of this. So please subscribe, get involved, give me a shout and I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.